friends welcome back to my youtube channel it is me it is Ida's tony and today's video i am going to be doing my full face from beginning to end this is a video that will be very very helpful for all of my trans sisters just cis women in general but this is going to be a video for all of you i'm going to be showing you how i go from this to my basically end results the photo that i posted on instagram i'm gonna start i already moisturized my skin skincare did all that that's gonna be a separate video because skincare is very unique to every single person the first thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in and color correct i'm gonna be using the dragon beauty color corrector this one is my personal favorite currently as you guys know i've already had laser hair removal but we are gonna use this just a little bit right here All right guys, so we're gonna move on to foundation. I'm gonna be using the Milk Foundation. This is my personal favorite. It is such a beautiful foundation. I'm also gonna be using this brush by IT Cosmetics. It's a super fluffy brush, super, super dense. I love it. By the way, this you do not need a lot of. So I'm just gonna start applying some of this on the skin. Tone. I'm gonna go in on my forehead and as you guys can tell I try to bring it quite in on my forehead like I round my forehead out a lot because I have a pretty square forehead that I don't like I also brought a little bit on my nose on the cheekbones just put this basically wherever you'd want to recede any um any any piece any space in your face like I don't I want my jaw to be a little more like so I like to bring mine here. See my jawline is here. But I like to do it here and then I'll do a little bit of that. So this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna be taking this big brush and I'm gonna blend in in circular motions. Kind of going up. See, because I want the product to kind of like from up here come down almost, but just to blend it up into the hairline. Always blend. Blend that shit out. See? contoured my face this is what it should look like your contour should be pretty blended I'm looking in the mirror to me it looks fine so I'm happy with the way it is I'm gonna go in with this shape tape concealer you can use any concealer that you want this is just what I have now I'm gonna do a little bit here just like I also like to do a tiny bit on the tip of the nose and on the forehead now I'm gonna blend it out using the beauty blender sorry y'all my computer's acting weird I'm gonna use a beauty blender, it's slightly damp, and all I'm gonna do is just kind of blend it in this shape, like this, see? Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of face powder. You don't have to use a face powder. Um, but I just like to, I just feel like it sits everything in place for me. Now that I've set my face with powder, I'm also gonna set my under eye using this one right here. But I'm gonna use this because this is what I have right now. And I'm gonna use both shades just with a MAC brush that looks like this and just set underneath the eye. All right, guys, so now we're gonna contour with powder. Like I said, this is my excessive makeup routine, okay? I'm gonna be using this MAC contour palette. It looks like this. I like to just take my brush and take all of the colors that are in there. And this is just what works for me. You don't have to use this, but this, this just works for me, okay? And it's how I get the way that I look and I'm happy with it, and yeah. I always like to round out my forehead as much as I can just because I wanna have a really tiny, Something that looks like a tiny forehead because clearly your girl got a nice little forehead. Alrighty, now that I've contoured with that palette, you can use the Kat Von D one. I love the Kat Von D one. I just don't know where mine is. 
I'm gonna go in with Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I just bought this for the first time um, and I love it. And I'm gonna use my MAC 168, it's a little angled brush like that. Now I'm gonna do my nose. Now I'm happy with my nose job. I think I have, I've had a beautiful nose job. It's healed very nicely, but I do like adding a little bit of color to it. I'm gonna take a Morphe M53 brush. I this is just me okay guys you guys just figure out what works for you but this is what i like to do i like to bring the color in from like this little part of my eye see right there just so that it looks more soft and more natural and i blend it in like this see? into that one. you guys see that now there's color to it i'm gonna take one second that product and then round out the nose kind of like a u all right now that i've done that i'm gonna take a tiny little pencil brush you can use any shadow that you want, anything that you want, like that. And I'm going to do a little bit of a highlight here. See that? Just on the tip of the nose so that it looks like very lifted. And then I'm going to add a little bit of light right that. Because when I bake, I don't bake like all of my face and stuff. I like to bake, sorry I'm in here, I like to bake going up like this. That. like they can change your entire face i believe for me at least a thin arched eyebrow just makes the biggest difference. I'm going to be using this shadow right here by MAC. Excuse this palette. This is like my go-to palette. It's my OG palette. We're going to be using the MAC Charcoal Brown Eyeshadow with a MAC 266 brush. If you can get your hands on this brush, girl, you are golden. You can do eyeliners. You can do eyebrows, whatever you want. I like to start by creating kind of like a line underneath, kind of like a guide. Like that. See that? Okay. So we're going to do a little bit of a guide. I am gonna use the color Blend, which is this beautiful color right here. It's something that I probably really already wear. Um, it's very, very beautiful. Now with my eye shape, I like to go in higher. So if you tilt your head back, you can kind of see your crease, which is right here, but I like to go a little bit higher. I'm gonna take this shadow. Girl, when I tell you that, that Natasha Denona just has little shadows, girl, that are just like it, she's got them, honey. And I'm going to use this brush to blend everything out like this. Beauty Creations, I think they, I don't know where they got it from, but it looks like this. Such a really nice brush. I actually really like the Sephora brush one, but I have no idea where it's at. So we're just going to use this one. And I'm going to go in right here. And I like to place the brush where I want the crease. So now that my concealer is pretty much dry, I'm gonna go in with a MAC 242 brush. I'm gonna go in with the color Inner Corner, which is this one right there. The crease, I'm gonna use the brush. Oh my God, look at how pretty it is. And I'm gonna run it on the edges because I want this to still be kind of cut crease, but mainly diffused. See how like you can still tell that it's a cut crease, but it's kind of diffused. That's what you want to look like this. I did go in with the brush and the color blend and just kind of buff out the edges. I'm gonna take a little bit more on the tip of a MAC 239 and just kind of like go right here. Like I said, I like my eyeshadow to go very pulled up very dark. I think it just looks really, really pretty. I 
lashes are on. I've already removed pretty much the powder underneath my cheeks and all that stuff. I'm gonna go in with, I don't know, whatever I see. I'm gonna use a little bit of MAC it's Harmony. I'm gonna say it's Harmony. Use this brush by Morphe and then I'm gonna take MAC highlighter in the color Soft and Gentle. Any highlighter works, this one's just here. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go do my hair really quick and then I'm gonna come back to show you guys how I do my lips, so I'll be back. Alrighty friends, so I am done with my makeup and I curled my hair already. I'm letting it cool down for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna go in and brush it out with my wet brush. But for now, it's okay, we're gonna, we're gonna let it be. I'm gonna go in and do my lips. So I'm gonna go in with this one and just follow my natural shape that I have going on with a pouty lip. And I like a really overdrawn top lip. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm done with my makeup and this is basically what it looks like. Like I said, I need to brush my hair out, but this is the technique that I do my makeup with. Any eyeshadow combination that I do, I do the same. I love it, I think it makes me look the prettiest. I feel the prettiest when I wear this. And yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you subscribe, click the thumbs up button. Shout out to you, Rebecca, for being a supporter, sis. I love all the support that I get from you. And to all of my trans sisters, I hope you're staying safe out there. And I will talk to you people too.